Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 5 is China. Now we're going to continue where we left off. We had just shuttle, settled Shanghai down here next to the the wheat tiles as well as the incense and the spices. And I was reviewing locations for a third city and I think a city up in this location preferably on this tile right here. Actually it wouldn't be that bad of a city. There's four fish tiles to work. And I would actually get these two copper tiles eventually. Sure, they're... Hmm. I mean, I, I will eventually get these tiles shared between the two cities. But I wouldn't... I could see this actually being a pretty decent city, getting lighthouse. And then the fish tiles all worked. It would be nice to have a coastal city. I was also thinking a city over in this location as well. Maybe here, or even just on top of the deer. But there's only two fish tiles I can see in sight. And then the, th the third city would probably be up in this area. I'm not sure specifically where. Probably up in this location, depending on what's on the coast here. I don't want to get too close to Honolulu, but we'll see. Nonetheless, let's go ahead and continue. Let's uh, let's actually scout up this way with this guy to see where what we've got going on. So we'll continue. We have a uh, paper maker in four turns, and this is going to be paper maker in 54. But that will that will uh, decrease as the city grows exponentially. Let's open up citizen management. I have not checked citizen management since we last played, so let's go ahead and look at this. See how we're doing. We're doing pretty good here. Seven turns until Beijing grows, and we'll go ahead and get a, the copper mine there. As I said, we need the happiness pretty. We're going to need the happiness quite a bit here, uh, especially once I start to expand into my third and fourth cities. So we'll want to grab the copper mine and then uh, and then start trading away our copper. Ife no longer needs my help. No surprises there. I figured one of the other civs would get to it. Preferably, it was probably uh, India. And where is my scout? There he is. Okay, he's healing up. Let's continue scouting to the west here. Got about nine more turns on the mine, and three more turns on this paper maker. Then we're gonna get a granary, and then into an archer. Zurich no longer needs my help. I have a feeling that I wasn't gonna be able to get any of these. And there's a city state here. How did I not? It just goes to show you that you need to explore all of your immediate surroundings. Well, it looks like I won't be getting a city over in this location, unfortunately as there is a city-state right there. Imagine if I actually scouted to the west here. I would have been able to steal a worker from Bogota and then get allied with Valletta in the early game. That's... Uh, that sucks, <laughs> to say the least. Public decoration from India. Probably uh, protecting Bogota now that I have found them. Hmm. There really aren't that many. I mean, there's no way I'm getting. Um, there's no way I'm getting Petra this game. It's just not going to happen. I mean, it's really hard to get Petra on DAD in the first place. But the fact that I'm surrounded by so much desert, it would be nice to get it. But there's there's absolutely no way I'm getting it, especially with this area. Like, if I had Petra, this would be such a good city location because of all the floodplains. But there's there's absolutely no way I'm going to be getting it in this game. So. Sad life. So we'll go ahead and continue. Keep scouting around. We'll send this guy back to heal again. And mine in a couple turns. Shanghai's gonna grow in a few turns, and Beijing will grow in a few turns as well. There goes Terracotta Army by Pachacuti, so he's actually gonna be pretty... Hey look, a settler, and it's probably Siam's, or Japan's. But I was saying Pachacuti is actually going to be kind of a threat here because he has double the army now of what he did before. We should be fine. There's really no reason for us to be afraid of anyone at this point. I'm not on any bad terms with anyone. At least I shouldn't be. And uh, no one's close enough to me to, to actually want to go to war with me. So we should be okay. I'm trying to think of any other good city locations that I can see immediately. I mean, I, I could always kill a city-state, but I'm not going to do that. Never. There's no reason to. I could always still settle over in this location. 
like right here, but I wouldn't get that many workable tiles, and I'd be really close to Honolulu. I'd get the spices and the sheep, but even then, I could always settle up here, but there's no... I think I just might have to settle this coastal city up here in retrospect. That's okay. I don't mind doing so. Beijing grew. Let's go ahead and lock in, yeah, these tiles right here. If you missed it last time, I have a pantheon for uh, for culture on jungle tiles, and that's actually helping out quite a bit in the early game here for me, because Beijing is surrounded by jungle tiles. So as long as I keep this pantheon on Beijing for, for the extent of uh, the early game, then uh, I should be okay with culture. I really need to get a second worker out too. And I need a watermill. I need so many things already. And I'm going to have to get a my third settler, or my second settler out here fairly soon as well. That's okay. I'll, and I'll do time. All in due time. How do you English? I don't know. We'll go ahead and lock in the wheat tile since it grew. And that'll allow this city to grow a lot faster than before. 12 turns to, to grow. That's way faster. We'll keep these on all of these tiles. I kind of want the the one production over the the culture right now because 13 turns to 16 turns on the granary is a lot better. And there's our happiness back. So we'll probably take this guy and we'll grab the iron here and then maybe start working on some farms and then go grab the wheat as well. Let's continue scouting here and there's Biblos. Another city-state. So we'll go ahead and grab this iron. 11 turns for the iron. We'll probably end up trading it away. Because I'm not going to be really using the iron that early on anyways. 18 turns till philosophy. And we'll get a new social policy in 8 turns. And we'll, that will be monarchy. And that will actually help with our happiness as well. There goes Colossus by Japan. No surprises. Once again, you're pretty much never going to be getting any wonders early to mid game on Deity. The only time you're actually going to be seriously thinking about wonders is once you hit around the, the Renaissance era. And that's when you're going to be wanting to go for Porcelain Tower mostly, maybe even Leaning Tower of Pisa. But a lot of times you're going to be wanting to rush out a, uh, a great engineer for and great scientist to slingshot into architecture and then use a great engineer on Porcelain Tower because then you get a, a great scientist as well as 50% more research or science generated from research agreements which by that time you should have at least two to three at least two to three research agreements going and you use the porcelain tower to slingshot your science even further and then sometimes depending on what culture you're also going for too you'd also be going for Eiffel Tower as well or not culture sorry um, victory as well uh, Eiffel Tower is a pretty big one Neuschwanstein isn't bad as well those are two very good late game wonders. And uh, and I see a lot of people, and I've done it myself a lot as well, slingshot and try to try to rush those. Let's continue scouting around here with our with our scout. I seven more turns on that mine. I'm probably gonna work the get the worker before the archer to be honest. I don't necessarily need the archer right now. Let us neutral. Reason to give gold to them. Let's continue. We got philosophy in 14 turns. I'm heavily considering right up here. I wanted to start a city up here, but I mean, I would get the bananas and I would get the, si the spices. Maybe I can start two cities, this city right here, and then this can be my final city up in this area. We'll see. I'm pretty sure I want to start a city on this tile exactly, though. I would get... These would be all shared, but with the fish tiles, that would be okay with uh, having a city here, I think. I think in the long run, that would be okay. And there goes a Reformation Belief added. Just check out the coast here. India has added a reformation belief to Hinduism. Let's check out our citizens. 
Everything's looking good. And everything looks good here as well. Rum Kong troll face has entered the medieval era. We're getting pretty close as well. I mean, we're getting close to the classical era. We're going to be behind a few eras, at least one and a half eras in the early game. But we'll catch up with our spies. It's okay. And the spearmen. I mean, there's really no reason to, to scout anymore on this side. I can just keep them in there. Get this guy going. Beijing grew again. Border wise. And it looks like it grew to the east here. Looks like it grew to right here. And we'll continue. And we got a new policy, so we'll go ahead and grab a monarchy there. We're at seven happiness now. That helps out a lot. We were at four before. So that will help out until we get a. Uh, another luxury resource and trading it. And that'll also help out once we start settling our third city. I'll probably start, normally I usually wait until just around 10 pop, but I think I'm gonna speed that up this this game and, and start the next settler around seven or eight because we need that third city out before, before other civs start getting too greedy and start expanding and collapsing around me. Do we have any trade routes with me either? I don't think I have. Yeah, I don't have any. I should probably start getting a trade route as well. There's so many things I need to get this game. We'll grab a farm. That'll be uh, extra food. Then I'll get the granary and then the worker. Shanghai is going to grow in a turn. Beijing in two turns. Let's continue scouting here. Shanghai grew. Let's lock in tiles. Best food tiles. I mean, I guess that's the best food tile we can get for now. We're going to need a granary inside here because I have three wheat tiles available to work. And no more turns for that farm. We'll just continue. There goes Hanging Gardens. We have Philosophy in seven. Beijing grew. Let's go ahead and lock that in. That's fine. 21 turns for that. For Shanghai to grow. I mean, for the paper maker. And then we can start working on National College after that. I'll probably end up just buying a paper maker in the third city. Instead of spending the, the resources to work it. And Shanghai grew again, and I'm assuming it was this tile right here. It was. Let's lock that in. Shanghai is going to be growing very, very fast this game. It will probably catch up to Beijing very quickly. Patrick, could you complete the Parthenon? How many wonders does he have? He has Great Lighthouse, Terracotta Ami, and Parthenon. I thought I saw someone wonder spamming earlier. Maybe it is. Maybe that's him. Yeah, I guess it's just him that's wonder spamming. He only has three wonders, though. Looks like we're going to be going to war with Pachacuti first. Especially since Cusco is right here. I think he is our first target, just because uh, the fact that he already has three wonders. We go to looks elsewhere. That's nice. I don't plan on getting allied with anyone immediately. City-state-wise. Just because there's no one I can get allied with right now. There's no bribes I can give. You want to demand tribute from Ogadishu? Yeah, that's not going to happen. So I think once I hit Ram Kong Hong, Ram Kong Troll Face is a threat of the stability of this world. No, I do not want to go to war with him. I mean, I do, but I'm not going to go to war with him. I'm sorry, Attila. You must go to war yourself. No, Pachacuti, you may not get passes through my territory. Why do you need passes through my territory? You don't. You can walk around everything. You could literally walk around both my cities, you nerd. It's okay. Looks good. Looks good for now. Go ahead and keep working that. 13 turns for my worker. We'll get philosophy in one, finally. Means we're in the classical era, thank god. 
Inca and Byzantium are now friends. So now that we've entered the classical era, we're going to go ahead and just start researching all of the all of these right here. So we're going to get trapping, and we'll get masonry into sailing, and then we'll start working on filling out the classical era trees. Now the question is, which direction do I want to go? Do I want to go straight for education, or do I want to grab a couple more things before that? E.g. construction, and then maybe currency into education. I'll probably, I mean, I have to get currency eventually, because I have to get civil service to get education. But depending on the uh, the path that I want to go, I'm probably going to get construction because composite bowmen are one of the best <laughs> early game units in the game. So I might as well just grab those as well. And I could just rush towards, uh, towards what is it? It's not engineering. It is um, machinery so I can get the uh, chukunus, which replace the crossbowmen. And I could rush those. That would not be a bad idea. <laughs> But we'll see. All in due time. We've got trapping in four. No, I do not want to go to war with Kamehameha. He's right next to me. Are you kidding me? That'd be suicide. You're crazy, man. An enemy is near. Is that a horseman? It is. Son of a bitch. That is not good. This is why we, I need to start working on my army, too, because these barbarians are going to actually do some damage to me. And we finished a farm. So let's see. 27 turns versus 25. That's not that bad. We can. We, I'd rather the city to grow at the moment. Hopefully that horseman does not... No, you go to war with Kamehameha. No one likes you, Rum Kong Trollface. And there must be a barb camp up there because there is now a hand axe. Fantastic. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and kill the horseman. Bring this guy up. Excuse me. Sorry that you can hear my sniffling. I've uh, been having some allergies lately. The allergies, uh, the pollen up here is starting to get pretty bad, so. I apologize in advance if you can hear it. And of course, they pillage my farm. Let's bring this guy up. Let's go ahead and fortify him in there. He's probably gonna come down here and try and pillage this farm. And he's spreading Hinduism to Shanghai. Even. That's unfortunate. So hopefully I can keep my my uh What am I trying to say? Hopefully I can keep my Pantheon in Beijing for a little while longer. Because I kinda need that. I'm really tempted to buy an archer right now. I really want to, but that mm, Maybe just purchase... Yeah, we'll purchase an archer. 270 gold. That's okay. And we'll send him to search for this camp down here. Maybe we can get a... Uh, Decoration of Friendship has expired. Let's see if we can get a city-state quest for that. So, there it is. Found it. Let's bring this guy up here. We'll go ahead and just repair this for now. Beijing... It's going to grow in two turns, and we'll get a new worker in six, and then papermaker in 20, which that will probably be halved by the next time this grows, because I'm going to add another hammer to it. Equals. We'll go ahead and say yes to, to Byzantium. My spearman was bombarded by a hand axe. Kel Nightmare. Die, friend. And we'll start attacking that camp. Three more turns for that repairman. Beijing is going to grow in one turn, and we'll get another worker in five. Why, yes, Kamehameha, I have become good friends with Byzantium. Theodora is my waifu. Why are you smiling at me like that? Pretty creepy. If it wants to go to bully, that's never going to happen. Don't bully. Pro tip in this game is to not bully other city-states because 99% of the time they are under protection of another city-state. So you can see that here by if you click on declare war you see under protection of and that's under protection of India. They want Mogadishu bullied which is where is Mogadishu? They are under protection of Byzantium and that would piss them off greatly so there's no reason to do that even if it gains you influence 
from another city state because 99% of the time there's the city state or there's the barbarian camp. 99% of the time they're under protection of another civ and doing that would just ruin your relations. Getting influence with the city state unless there's like very 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 rare instances where it would be better to do that. Unless you are, say, on the verge of winning a diplomacy victory and you're playing as Greece and you need the influence more than you need friendships, then sure, knock yourself out. But that's such a rare circumstance that you're never going to be doing that. So just verge, verge on the caution, verge on the edge of caution when you uh, when you think about trying to to bully city states. Because when you do it, there's more or less you when you do it. Just think about it, there's probably uh, a better reason not to do it. So Pachacuti has completed the pyramids, so that means that we're going to be going to war with Pachacuti first. Which kind of sucks, because... Oh my god, there's an iron swordsman there. That's terrifying. I might actually lose my Chinese archer. That actually sucks. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, we're definitely going to war with Pachacuti first, even if he has the greater army. I think we're just going to rush... Uh, dynamite, get artillery, and just uh, try to take his his capital. We'll probably just march through Zurich and take, try to take his capital because he is wonder spamming, and that city is going to be very valuable. Oh, thanks, India. You're actually doing things for me. Okay, let's go ahead and just move up here. Let's bring this guy down here. We're going to hook up that wheat. We'll heal him in there. And we're just going to continue. I finished this, right? Okay, I did. I just wasn't sure. So, we'll go ahead and just finish getting some more farms around here. We can back up a bit. There's no reason to be here with that anymore. Since we cleared out the encampment. We've got 15 turns for our next policy. Sailing in two turns. And we'll go ahead and probably get construction right after this into mathematics, and it'll probably start rushing towards uh, education after that. That looks like the best path at the moment. I really need my national college. I also really need to get my third city out. It feels like I'm a little bit more further behind in this game than I normally am, but that's probably not the case. We'll also start working on a new settler here fairly soon as well. And I'll worry about the order in that in a little bit. I'll probably get it once I hit pop. Yes, I am friends with Polynesia. Uh, pop 8 in Beijing. But we'll see. He who commands the so we finish sailing. That'll be nice once we get our third cities out. Because that means we can actually work fish. And let's just go scouting around with this guy. Why not? Actually, we should bring him up here to get rid of this camp. Let's hope Bogota can uh, give us a uh, a quest to clear that out, because that would actually be really nice. And a nice rum control face. I am friends with Byzantium. No one cares. No one likes you, Siam. I'm really tempted just to decline his friendship if he asks for it, just because of how much I hate Siam. But, you know, I won't. Because <laughs> that's not smart. But I hate him. I don't. You don't understand how much I hate Siam. He's such a douchebag. Up oh, there it is. Look at his stupid face. You're so deceptive. It's such a douchebag. I'll do it anyways. Why not? Yeah, yeah. Everyone's a good friends with Siam. Blah blah blah. Except for Attila. Attila hates Siam. Probably because they're right next to each other. That's a lot of army. I'll send this guy up here. We should probably be careful of Pachacuti. Yeah, they covet the lands that I currently own. Which is, I'm really far away from him, so he is insane. But what are you going to do? So we'll work on that second archer. We really need to get a second archer up just because I need to have at least somewhat of a small military presence on the map. Otherwise... Um, civs are going to think I'm incredibly weak and will start declaring war on me. Which is not good. Oh, there's a wheat teller. I was like, how does this have six food? 
But then it was a wee tile there, and I did not see that. Dang. That's a lot of floodplains. That's crazy. That is a crazy amount of floodplains, actually. It's a good thing I got a couple over here, but still. Okay, so we've got Paper Maker in five. We'll start working on the granary, and then we'll probably get a water mill after that. And we've got another archer in five turns, and then we'll probably... We'll start working on the settler. And once you pop the settler out, we'll start working on National College. Because I really need to get that National College out. It's something I should have gotten out probably about 15 turns ago, but... What are you going to do? We'll send this guy up here. That looks like an army marching somewhere. I mean, it could just be Pachacuti moving his ar units around, but that looks like that army's going up towards Honolulu. Let me see, where is he? Pachacuti. He's not at war with anybody, so... We'll see. But he has a huge army. That, that terracotta army is like... That's a lot of composite bowmen. Gandhi's completed a great wall. There's just going to be wonders falling left and right in the next next few turns here. Let me get out of here before I get trapped. We've got three more turns and four more turns for those farms. Yeah, we'll start working on a settler, I think. Hmm... I really wish Bogota would give me a quest for this. But unfortunately, it looks like I'm not going to get one. It's too good to be true. Yeah, we'll lock that in for now. So, we'll keep working that. And then we'll, uh, we'll start working on the settler next. And think about the third location that we're going to be settling. And there goes construction. So we got a unit promotion. We're going to grab... We'll grab Barrage 1. We'll go ahead and shoot him in the face. And we'll just continue fortifying there. Declaration of Friendship with Polynesia has expired. Okay. And, uh... We can send this guy down south to Beijing. Move this guy over, and let's go ahead and reassign our tiles. Let's reset our tiles. We'll put on Production Focus. Ten turns for a Settler. That's actually not bad at all. We make that faster. It does not look like it. Even with excess food, it does not look like it. So that's okay. We'll lock in that farm. Let's see. Hold on. Production. Yeah, ten turns is the fastest that we can do, and that's okay. So ten turns. We'll probably settle up here, and we're just gonna heal him right there for now. Am I? Am I? Yeah, we'll get friendship. That's fine. So I'm pretty dead set on the city to the northeast of my uh, capital. I'm thinking on this tile might be just the best bet for now. I can still grab all four of these fish. But we'll see. So this guy south. We'll start working on a road here, actually. <clears throat> that seems like a smart idea. Shanghai is growing. You see two turns. Yeah, let's go ahead and just work that, and then we'll lock in that tile next. Three turns versus two turns. Oh, well, it's okay. We can just get it to grow faster, and then we'll start locking in one of the hammers as well. We really need that granary. And there goes war. I knew it. I knew he was going to go to war with Kamehameha. That was a lot of units marching that way. And honestly, we're just going to put this guy on Explorer Automated, because I really have no use for him right now. And we'll grab that as well. We'll start working on a road. Shoot that. Cl clear the camp. It's unfortunate that we didn't get a quest, but that's okay. Eight turns for that settler. And then after that, we're going to work on National College. And we'll finish National College before we, uh, before we settle. As much as I would like to... Uh, as much as I would like to just buy a paper maker, I cannot. I probably could have actually saved the money and not buy this this archer, initial archer, but the archer actually helped out quite a bit with clearing the camps, so can't complain there. And Shanghai grew. Let's go ahead and just lock in one of these tiles here. 
We wrote in four turns. So we get a new policy. We're going to finish tradition in a few turns. And the question is, what do we put in next? I was thinking about putting a few points into honor. That wouldn't be bad. We can get the 50% more experience in combat because once I hit mid game, I'm probably going to start going to war quite a bit. That is the weakest Great Wall of China I've ever seen in my entire Great Wall I've ever seen. Look at this. Seven, uh, seven tiles it covers. Seven tiles. <laughs> That's the saddest thing I've ever seen. Oh, oh, Gandhi. So I'll probably put a few points into, uh, into honor just so we can get the, the experience, 50 point ex combat experience. That is actually pretty incredible once you start going to war quite a bit. What is he building a road here for? Is he building a road to Bogota? They must like they must be requesting a road. And they want horses. They want me to connect horses to my trade network. Well, I have zero horses, so that's not happening. Alright, six more turns for the settler. Twenty seven turns for the granary. That's okay. Xerix seeks a great musician. I hope to God he's not going to war with me soon. Oh, I guess he's still at war with Honolulu. That's right. Wow, is he actually going to drop Honolulu? Pachacuti's looking pretty terrifying right now. I should probably be careful. Who's Bogota allied with? No one, right? Yeah, no one. Okay. Honolulu is dropping pretty fast. And there it goes. Wow. That's crazy. Is he out yet? No, he's not. I think he has one more city up here. That's... He's going to be terrifying. I don't like that one bit. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and upgrade. I don't have enough. How much is it? 110, that's right. We're going to upgrade those to Composite Bowmen. That way we're not completely out class when it comes to archers. Mogadishu and Siam. No, Attila. He's actually my friend. I can't go to war with him. I'm sorry. Mogadishu and Siam no longer allies. And we've got mathematics. So, I think I'm going to finish this part here. I'll get my settler in three turns. I'm thinking, I'm pretty, pretty confident that I should settle a city right here. I would like a city up here as well, but I think this one would be more beneficial. Albeit, this one is further away from my capital, and I would actually get more tiles for it. This one has more f room to grow. I'd also get two more instances of copper. I wouldn't mind settling a city on this area. Are these hills? Or are they okay? So they're 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 plains. Maybe a city like right around here, but I would only get the spices and the sheep, so that wouldn't be that good. A city right here wouldn't be bad. I mean, it wouldn't be great, but it wouldn't be absolutely horrible. Or even a city like over in this location, like on top of this hill around here wouldn't be bad either. Because I get a couple floodplains and the oasis and the incense. However, if you have any other uh, additional spots, any better spots you see for, for uh, a city location, please let me know in the comments. Um, please let me know if there's anything else that you guys uh, would like to see from me. And, uh, yeah, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and, uh, I will see you guys next time. Goodbye, guys.